Dear Chester Bennington, Today is the one year anniversary since Chester died and I've been wanting to make a video about this ever since. I didn't at first because I really did actually struggle with it. I get the whole thing of celebrity deaths are a bit of an odd thing. You don't know the person, therefore you don't really f connect. Some people do, some people get really connected and feel for the celebrity who's passed away. Personally, I do and I don't. Suicide ones, always, because even if I don't know someone and they've passed away of suicide, I still feel awful for that family, and especially if it's a young celebrity or anything like that, especially so. His death was a massive, massive tragedy. He was loved by many. He was famous for being the singer-songwriter of Linkin Park. And I just wanted to say what it meant to me. This affected me a lot in lots of different ways. The mainest reason was the fact that Linkin Park basically saved me. I'm not a believer in music saving you from your mental health. They didn't save me, they helped along the way. They made me understand the feelings I had. They made me relate. And I guess that's why it's sad. You helped me for a time of suicide, depression, self-harm, eating disorders, anxiety. And I couldn't save you. You didn't know me, no idea who I was. Yet, I think a lot of us feel like we sh should have been able to save you. You helped us so much, so why couldn't we help you? The other thing is, you were so open in your music and everything. You wrote about issues like suicide, self-harm, depression, anxiety, self-hate, not being appreciated by family. There's a lot of different songs about a lot of different things. So, yeah, it's sad when you see a person die of suicide but there's no sign so we go oh well how should we have known but we saw the signs here and you still are gone i don't blame any of your friends or family for not being able to see i mean you can just see from the james corden carpool karaoke which you filmed only about a week before that you looked happy and I think that's so heartbreaking for everyone to see. How can someone so broken seem so happy? And I think that's what a lot of us with suicide need to wake up to. People who are suicidal will make plans. I'm saying plans as in they will plan to go on holiday, plan their future. They might seem happy they might seem content yet they might be dying inside literally that is a hard thing and i will eventually make a video on how to help that it's a hard thing to see and there are help and i will link down to resources down below if you think anyone you know are having issues if you are yourself having issues suicide is never worth it at the time, yes, you might feel everyone's better off without me. Everyone will be happier without me. I will be happier. The pain will stop. No, it puts a full stop to it. You can't get better. It'll be how you're remembered. It's not a romantic, beautiful thing to die of that. Your family will be shattered, your friends their lives will be ruined for the rest of their lives. I hate saying that, but it's true. Suicide affects you. When you lose someone to it, it will affect you to the day you die. But please don't think that they will be better off without you. Because weirdly, they won't be. It might seem it, they might seem like they'll care more, but how will you know if you're gone? So please seek help if you are feeling low at all 
or having those thoughts. I was listening to some of Linkin Park today. I still have it in my car playlist. I have had since, well, ever since I've had my car for my car playlist, but I've been listening to Linkin Park properly since about 13. I was listening to some of it out back in my day. I was a bit of an emo. I looked it and I guess I spitted the stereotype as well. I was listening to the bits they did for um, Twilight. I was a massive fan. There is one song called Leave Out All The Rest and that brought back a lot of memories. That used to be my favourite song because I related to it a lot at the time. It's about dying and not being remembered and it's saying that leave out all the bad and stuff like that but I think now it means more but also I used to want it to be my funeral song that's a deep and heartbreaking thing especially if you know me it's hard to hear someone say that but when you are in that state you do think that way at about 13 and 14 I was very suicidal and their songs did help me. Numb I related to a lot. I read online that it was about a autistic self-harmer. How could I not relate to that? I'm autistic and I self-harmed. In the end what I've done and breaking the habit I related to a lot and even to this day I still listen to and it brings back me memories of my teenage years. The music's amazing anyway, even without the initial sort of helping and understanding there. I mean, just incredible a band, incredible songwriter, incredible musician. I, I also used to have a sweatband. I annoyingly couldn't find it, I will have it somewhere in my house. And it's a white sweatband with Linkin Park on it. And I loved it. And I used to wear it on my wrist to cover up my cuts. They meant a lot. They were there during my bad times. And I will always feel upset that I never could help you back. That's why, I mean, I've been doing this longer than what happened last year, but the thought of losing someone and, or someone, even if I don't know them, dying of suicide, being in pain, mentally, kills me. And what my goal in life is to help lower the suicide rate. In men under 50, it is the highest death of men. It's preventable. That's heartbreaking. Every 40 seconds someone dies of it. It's not right. Even if I help a few people, it makes it worth it. I want to help people, help them feel better and live a better life. I think we all can agree on that. And I also believe that sometimes to make a stand, you have to make change. A lot of people don't like that I do YouTube. They don't understand it. They don't, they think, why put yourself out there? Why be honest? Why tell people about your self-harm experiences, your suicide and anything like that? And it's because if I don't tell someone or if so, no one ever talks about it, the next person that feels that way will also feel alone feel like no one else has ever experienced anything like that and maybe even end up worse. If I can help someone by going, I felt like that too and now I'm happy, I'm healthier and I got through it, that will be worth it. I want to thank you Chester for helping me, for being there sometimes when no one else was for letting me understand, know what emotions I felt. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. And my love goes to all your family, your bandmates, your friends. 
and all of your fans out there. And you'll be forever, ever missed. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this video if you did. I love you guys. Stay safe and remember the links are down below. And if you need anyone to chat to, I am here. You can comment down below. Find me on my Facebook or any of the other links down below. I love you guys and I will see you guys next week.